Hi, I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com and here are six procedures for weight loss or surgeries you should avoid. Number one, let's talk about the gastric band. This is a fixed band, not the adjustable one. And this is a procedure that was very popular uh, in the 80s, 90s, and even some 2000s. And this is a um, plastic ring or celastic or made out of certain silicon that is placed normally with a open incision, open surgery, very small though, goes through the layers of the abdominal wall, reaches the stomach, they place a ring around the stomach with the idea that you eat less. With time, well, uh, it's proven uh, that it doesn't work and patients have a really bad quality of life. This ring made out of certain plastic can erode. With time, it normally erodes, into, it goes into inside the patient's stomach and uh, very bad quality of life, very bad weight loss, and you should avoid it. Number two, the laparoscopic adjustable gastric band. Very popular in the 2000s. And nowadays, the only thing we do with these is remove them, all right? So this is an adjustable gastric band. The idea was very interesting because it was placed in the upper part of the stomach, but Rather than the fixed band, this has a connecting tube goes into this port and you can adjust how much you, you can tighten that band or loosen that band. In theory, it sounds really interesting, but in real life, bad quality of life. Just do your homework, ask any patient with a lap band, poor weight loss, and sooner or later, it's a foreign body needs to come out. Number three, intragastric balloons. Yes, it's a balloon that's placed down your mouth, throat, all the way into the stomach. You inflate it with some fluid, and this is just temporary. You cannot leave the balloon in there forever. There are some balloons that are cleared to be inside your body for six months, and some up to 12 months. No later, no more than that. Normally, 50%, so five out of 10 patients will regain all their weight back. Um, patients have a lot of nausea, vomiting. Uh, you have that heavy sensation because you do have something inside and uh, it doesn't come cheap. Number four, the endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty. Sounds like a gastric sleeve, but it's not. They wanna mimic a sleeve, but it's not. Again, you go by endos endoscopic procedure, you go through your mouth, go reach your stomach, and you have a special suturing device that the intention is to make your stomach's capacity, reduce it and make it much smaller. Truth is, um, the weight loss is not that good, it is expensive, and it leaves permanent scarring inside your stomach. So. What we have trouble nowadays is having those patients search for us trying to convert that gastroplasty, endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty, into a really good sleeve gastrectomy or gastric sleeve. And the thing is, they're scarring. There are some fasteners left behind made out of metal, which makes crafting a sleeve riskier. All right, so be on the lookout, check uh, the weight loss these patients have, it's not that good. And the vast majority are nowadays converted into sleeves. Number five, the gastric plication. Now this procedure has been out there more or less for about a decade, 10 years, but there are some centers, unfortunately, that are still crafting this procedure for patients. So it's interesting because it's very cheap because you only need two sutures. And the thing is, you are going in laparoscopically. The idea is to use these sutures to fold your own stomach in two layers, fold it twice, but unfortunately the weight loss is not good. Those sutures normally tear up with time and you're not removing part of the stomach that produces the ghrelin hormone that produces head hunger. 
So results are not that promising. And number six, the newest member of these procedures is the gastric clip or bariatric clip, which is a vertical clip that the idea is to mimic a sleeve, but unfortunately, again, you're not removing that portion of the stomach that uh, produces uh, head hunger, so that stays in there. There's anxiety. Also, it's a foreign body, so time and time again has taught us through time that anything you place in contact with that stomach wall, with time, it will perforate. It will erode into the stomach, and sooner or later, those foreign bodies need to come out, and guess what? It does not come cheap as well. All right, so that is it for today's episode. I'm Dr. Alvarez with indobariatric.com, where we are changing lives one sleep at a time. Take care and God bless.